What's happening, YouTube? Welcome back to An American in Poland. I'm Kenny, glad to have you here. So, Merry Christmas to everyone. I hope you're doing well and the Christmas season is treating you well. Now, I will say my Christmas season here in Poland tends to be very relaxed, uh, even though I do have all the wacky Christmas lights out here in the garden and Christmas tree is up and, you know, but there are some differences about how Christmas is celebrated here in Poland versus the USA. So the first thing that we want to talk about is that Santa comes twice to Poland, which I think is really kind of cool. So Santa comes the first time on the 5th of December. And on this night, you, all the kids have to make sure they have nice clean shoes put outside of the room. And when they get up in the morning, it has, you know, maybe some very small toy or chocolates or something like that. What I think is kind of interesting is this coincides with the German Chris, uh, the Krampusnacht, where Krampus comes and takes away all the bad children and beats them with sticks and drags them off to the Black Forest on uh, this night. But here in Poland, Santa comes and gives presents to all the good boys and girls. Make you know, I think that's pretty neat. Now. The other thing that you might find a little interesting here versus the United States is the Christmas trees don't tend to stand up, uh, stay up as long as they do in the States. Now, I think this tradition is changing. Uh, there are lots of folks that have had, you know, get their Christmas trees up early and they stay up for a long time. Um, but traditionally, the Christmas tree goes up on Christmas Eve and it stays up through uh all the way through to three, uh, the th three Kings Day, and whereas in the states, uh, the Christmas tree goes up day after Thanksgiving, uh, which is the last Thursday in November, and stays up until the uh, day after New Year's. So that's something that's kind of interesting. While we're talking about Christmas trees, one thing that I think is really cool, and I think it's fairly recent here in Poland, is that you can buy a potted Christmas tree. And especially in the cities, this has become extremely popular. Uh, instead of having a cut tree, you buy one that's in a pot, and then after the holiday is over, uh, you put it out, somebody, could come, uh, somebody comes, takes a tree, they replant it, and... Uh, it'll be good for next year, keeps on growing. So I think that's kind of a cool concept. When we get to the holiday of Christmas itself, this is also where the holiday gets a little different in Poland than it does in the United States. So the biggest celebration uh, here in Poland is actually Christmas Eve, and it's called Vigeria, uh, and that's the Christmas Eve dinner. So before this dinner can even start, we have to wait for the first star to show up in the sky, uh, notifying us that it's time to start the celebration. And this harkens back to the star that led um, the people to the manger in Bethlehem for the birth of Christ. Once the first star has been seen, we share Opłatek. Now, Opłatek is a, is a blessed wafer um, each person gets one, you break off a piece, you give it to someone, and when you do, you give them wishes uh, for the next year, whether it be health or wealth or uh, happiness or whatever, and they do the same for you. And I really enjoy this tradition. One big thing to recognize is that the Polish Christmas Eve celebrations kind of center around the, 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 the table. Um, and if you have 10 people, you're going to find 11 spots on that table for people to sit because they always set a spot for the stranger. Uh, you know, for someone who doesn't have anybody uh, to come and visit with their, you know, uh, share a Christmas meal. And I think this is a really, really cool tradition. Now, another uh, Polish myth is that this is the one night a year that... Uh, you get the kids to talk to the animals because the, the animals can speak on Christmas Eve. Uh, this also harkens back to the animals speaking in Adelation in the manger. I'd love to see what Walter has to say. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> now, on the Christmas table, you're gonna find that there are 12 dishes. 
one for each month of the year. The idea is that you have to take a little bit from each dish, and if you do, you're gonna have good luck for 12 months out of the year. Now, if you're a carnivore, this is where things get a little funky. There is no meat on Christmas. Um, so in the United States, you know, for a, a Christmas dinner, you're typically gonna find turkey, ham, maybe goose, or if you're from a very wealthy family, a big old prime rib. Not here in Poland. Here in Poland, your only main source of protein is going to be uh, fish and mushrooms. So that's something that's very different. If you don't like fish or mushrooms, you're not gonna really enjoy Christmas dinner. Now, there is always a variety of stuff, so you're not gonna go hungry. Um, but the big thing is, it's fish. Another thing you might notice that's a little different is that if you're rifling around the table, you might find a little piece of straw coming out of the, uh, the tablecloth. And that is to symbolize the straw from the manger uh, that baby Jesus was sleeping in. Now, one thing I think is really cool is this is, uh, when you go shopping this time of year, you're gonna find little angels basically at every shopping center selling you little plastic bags of straw with a card in it. And what they're doing is they're raising money for a charity. They know that everybody needs a little bit of straw to go underneath their Christmas table, uh, tablecloth. So it works out well for everybody. Um, but it's a great way for people to um, raise a little bit of cash for their favorite charity. The other thing that's a big difference between the United States and Poland is that Christmas presents are given out on Christmas Eve here. Whereas in the United States, Santa Claus comes at night of Christmas Eve and brings all of the presents and you get up in the morning and open up presents. Now this tradition varies from what part of Poland you're in. And we're actually gonna do another video talking about the six different Santas, if you will, that bring presents throughout Poland. Um, but what is interesting is the presents show up while, uh, or, or excuse me, when the first star shows in the sky. So that's kind of a neat thing. That is the biggest difference between U US and Polish uh, Christmas. As a kid in the United States uh, growing up, we celebrated a little bit differently. We always did Christmas Eve at my grandparents, um, and then Christmas morning, we had presents at our house. I only had one set of grandparents that were local, so for us, um, you know, that was kind of the norm. We wouldn't travel necessarily to see the other set of grandparents uh, because it was a long drive. And some years we did it in one place, some years we did it in the other. But that was pretty typical. Now for a lot of other families, they'll do Christmas Eve with one set of parents and then Christmas Day with the other set of grandparents. And they have two big Christmas meals and open up presents at both places. So that's something that's a little different. The one thing that I love about Poland is that Christmas Day is the day that you actually travel around to visit all your friends and neighbors and celebrate Christmas with them. Um, and I think this is fantastic. You know, it's, it's an opportunity for everybody to get out and have a good time and eat leftovers from the night before. Um, and the biggest thing is, uh, since you're not partying on Christmas Eve, because there's no alcohol and there's no uh, fish, Christmas Day is the time when you go out and party with all the friends and neighbors and your family. So it's a lot, an awful lot of fun. Um, anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, make sure you hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and uh, make sure you got notifications turned on so that next time we put up a video, you'll be notified. Um, like I said, we're gonna be putting out another video talking about the six different Santa Clauses that uh, might be bringing you your presence here in Poland uh, in this next video. Anyways, till we see you next time, Naraja, Dzięki bardzo, and we'll talk to you soon. Merry Christmas, Wieszowie Schwant.